So today ladies and gentlemen we're just gonna laugh what's going on toxic gamers because today a lot of people are mad okay a lot of people are really really mad okay we got a lot of news to go over okay we got the concord situation <laughs> we got the dustborn situation we got the monkey situation these seconds are crazy right now they're trying to cancel the monkey game out there because this monkey game is reaching wildfires okay and the first clip that i want to share with you guys you fellas oh man i don't think you guys are ready for this one you guys are gonna be sent to coma real quick after you see this okay so viewers discretion is advised like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders okay democracy everybody everybody has the right to vote okay but uh oh so this situation happened in dustborn seconds are calling it dustman and this is a gem of uh, a video clip okay this game is keep on giving us gems and i feel like that for the years to come we're gonna be finding like these gems and uh, our gem number 23, okay? Roll it. Tell you're with, uh, the black kid? Dresses like a writer? Does he know anything? You are racist. Tell you're with, uh... Yeah, this is a real clip, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thought? This is a real clip. I, and I really do believe it that this game is gonna be giving us a lot of gems, okay? Because a lot of people, you know, are playing this game. <laughs> a lot of people are playing this game. First it hit 72, then 81, you know, wow, nice. And then it hit 83 people. Damn! Damn! You know, 83, so two more people in comparison to 81. So it hit a new uh, peak, right? Now, what about that Concord situation, right? What about that Concord situation? The homie Swan Wave looking kind of baffled in this picture as well, right? And you're you're like, hey man, like with Concord, yeah, like you know, a lot of people might be playing it. This is Black Myth Wukong, 2.4 million. So I mean, at least like a million people because it's like a PlayStation exclusive or and PC as well, right? PlayStation, it's a PlayStation game. And, and first of all, I also do play on PlayStation, guys. What? You guys gonna do that to me? Uh, guys, listen, man, my daddy bought me PS2 and that was the first console I got my hands on. My very first game was ATV Off-Road Fury, okay? Don't blame me, man. I was just a little kid, man. I didn't know what was going on, man. My daddy was like, okay, here you go, man. PS2 for you, second. And I was just enjoying it, man. Fast forward, like what? How many years? Uh, 15, 20 years or some crap like that? Concord comes out and it broke record ladies and gentlemen 697 uh, was the peak count and currently 612 people are playing the game I got a video that I want to share with you guys let's go for 696 likes guys please don't break record on this video man it's gonna be a feels bad kind of situation if there are more likes on this video than the player count Shout out to the homie Rev Sage Dishu. Uh, check this out. Hey, what's up, guys? We're Wait here. For it. So, Wait over for the past it. couple of days since its release on the 19th, a lot of people have been talking about Black Myth Wukong. However, don't let the success of this game distract you from the fact that just one day later, another very impressive game was released. I'm, of course, talking about game of the year potential here. Dustborn. So a lot of people have been talking about this, including some reviewers at IGN yeah. who gave this a 7 out of 10 rating. Think about that. Just one point lower than Black Myth Wukong's 8 out of 10 rating from IGN. So it must be a pretty good game, right? Well, no. There's a reason why this game has gotten the label the wokest game ever, and I have to... 7 out of 10. Could you guys believe it? 7 out of 10. This like is crazy. Bro. agree with that label, and quite predictably, with a title like that, it completely flopped. Dead on arrival, terrible yeah. release, and before we talk about the details of this game, I just want to make a little editorial note here. Oh. I have never seen a game with a digital footprint that is as cooked as Dustborn, okay? Yeah, you go yeah. to any social- and, and right as we get down to it, I want to provide comments for free, uh, or I mean popcorn for free for the comment section. Those of you that are reading the comments right now, this one for you. I'm selling popcorn free of charge, guys, free of charge for everybody right now. This is me right now, okay? <laughs> this is me right now, except uh, so far I'm not bald. Maybe one day I would be, okay? You never know. Hopefully not. Hopefully not, hopefully not, but uh, you know what? Damn, homie. So yeah, this is me selling popcorn for free for you guys, okay? Like the video, that's all I ask, okay? Like the video, but do not go above 696 likes, okay? That's all I'm asking for. Social media platform right now, and they're making fun of this game. I, I feel like if you went to MySpace, you would see people making fun of Dustborn right now. So what is this game? Well, here is the description on Steam. Dustborn is a single-player, story-driven action-adventure game about hope, love, friendships, robots, and the power of words. You play Pax, Exile, Con Artist, Anomal with the ability to weaponize language. Looking for a new life and a way out, Pax has been hired to transport an important package from Pacifica to Nova Scotia across the justice-controlled American Republic. Sounds like a legit reason for a road trip, right? 
So basically they go along, yada yada yada, and they say, uh, you're playing the role of a, a group of punks who are fighting mm -hmm. back against the tyrannical American regime, and you're fighting them with, with words, because that's okay. super punk rock and awesome and cool. But anyways, you see this section here about weaponizing language, and boy howdy were they not misleading you with that. It is the main feature they're trying to sell you on with this game. So here the section underneath says, The power of words. Words have power, like actual power. Fight with shouts and use vox in conversations to manipulate people and talk your way out of hairy situations. Craft new words and learn to wield Wait, a, a hairy situation? Okay, what kind of hairy situation we're talking about, man? Bro, I swear to God, man. I swear to God. Like, this is modern day video games. Whatever happened to good games, bro? Like, damn. Whatever happened to good games, man? Like, this was Sony. This is Uncharted 3 gameplay. I believe uh, this game came out back in 2011. It was lit. It was legendary. And you know the funniest thing here is that, uh, of course, everybody has the right to like a game or not like a game, right? But here's the thing, though. I've seen a lot of people say that Uncharted 3 was meh. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't that good, no, say. But to be fair though, people were saying that in comparison to like Uncharted 2, okay? Now, personally, I love all the Uncharted games. My favorite has to be Uncharted 2, of course, but I also loved Uncharted 3, which is uh, what you're watching right now. Shout out to MK Icefire for, for the non-commentary gameplay right there. But, but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like this game, I played it like multiple times, like I... Yeah, I've, I've played this game multiple times. I love this franchise, man. And Sony was at its peak. We had like great single player games. You could have played offline. No internet would require no microtransactions. It's single player because nowadays that's what they're starting to do right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, to be fair though, not every game, every single player game has microtransactions, thankfully. But it's starting, right? But this was just pure gameplay, pure story. And it was just amazing, man. Like, it was an experience, though. Uncharted 4 was bigger and better. Uh, in some aspects, I still prefer, like, the Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. But make no mistake, Uncharted 4 was just, like, really, really good, right? They they ended the game on high note. Uh, and right now, we're hearing that they're rebooting Uncharted. And we're probably gonna get a brand new series. And, yeah, I hope that's true, right? Some people, of course, don't want it. And, you know what? Nowadays, if you say you don't want Uncharted, I understand, right? I understand what you're saying. I still want it. But I understand why some people would be like, hey, I don't want it. They're gonna ruin the franchise. I, fair. That's fair, though. Maybe they're gonna revive Nathan Drake, right? Maybe it's gonna be a reboot. And Nathan Drake is gonna be like, uh, you know, I'm strong, independent queen, right? Maybe they're gonna do that. Maybe they're gonna change that's like his identity or something like that maybe he's, they're gonna make him like uh, like a modern audience guy or something like that you never know there are millions way to ruin a franchise what if they're gonna like kill nathan drake like they did to joel in the last of us 2 for the modern audience reasons and all that you never know right so i that fair fair but thing is that people did say that this game wasn't that good back in the days looking back at it I feel like that anybody and everybody that said that this game was like bad for for then, I'll, I I I I suppose that all of them, mostly all of them, would say that now, bro, it wasn't that bad. It was a masterpiece in comparison to now, right? I don't know, man. Where are games going, bro? Like, damn, bro. Like, what is going on at PlayStation and also Xbox, though? Like, both of these companies, man. Like, I play on PlayStation, but but like Xbox is equally to blame. Maybe even more. Maybe less. I don't know. But my point here is that gaming collectively where are the good games right okay thank god we got black myth wukong but of course that game is not gonna be for everybody right and it's not supposed to be for everybody but my point is that back in the days we would get like bangers after bangers after bangers after bangers though right like game nowadays it's just like one game out of one out of ten or sometimes if we're lucky two out of ten games that are good i guess it saves us money uh but 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 still though i want to be hyped up for more games man like i i listen man like i i understand that sega's want memes sega's wanna be like clowning on a game sega's wanna be trashing on a game too but can a brother get like some because i rather take seven good games out of 10 games than taking like two good games out of 10 if that makes sense right like yeah we can have one or two three game to clown on or trash on and you know everybody get their rush everybody get that th their dopamine fix and their y you know what i mean right but like nowadays it's getting tiring man it's getting tiring clowning on these games and i don't want to clown on games bro i want to be hyped up uh for these games and i want to like talk about the gaming leaks everybody and be excited with like uh, mouth open thumbnails uh, and all that right just like you know back in the good old days when youtubers would have mouth open thumbnails nothing wrong with that of course like then people would have stuff to clown on i rather people clown on that crap than clowning on the games right 
You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather have good games, man. Like, I want to be talking about leaks and all that. Pure ride, g g g good gaming news. But nowadays, this is all what's left off, I, I guess. Wing a lingual arsenal against enemies and friends. Ooh, is that a little foreshadowing to the story here? It. Keeping me on the edge of my seat here. But anyways, yeah, this is a, a, a real feature in this game. And uh, this is really what happens when you're terminally online and don't have real problems. You end up with something like this. Uh, but there's two things they, they promote this game with, right? They have the description, then they show this. And then the only other thing they show you is a diverse cast of characters. So basically, that's all they have to bring to the table. That there's uh, words being used as weapons and a diverse cast of characters. Like, that's great. But anyways, who made this, right? Who is behind this? Well, it is a Norwegian indie studio named Red Thread Games. Now, what is their motivation for creating uh. Dustborn? Well, we know based on a representative who revealed that this game was largely inspired by the election of Donald Trump. Yes, the 2016 American presidential election was the Whoa. inspiration for this game. These people got so mad about Trump getting elected that they made this game based off of it. Basically, this is their coping mechanism. So, that deeply affected us all? Beginning in the summer of 2016 and continuing until, well, today, you're saying that they started developing this game all the way back in 2016? <laughs> Holy crap, bro. Damn. And it, how many years later? Almost eight years later? Or maybe more than eight years later? Eight years in the making, man. Oh, man, I feel bad. Guys, let's not go above 83 likes on the video, okay? Let's, uh... Yeah, yeah forget about 696 likes, man. Let's not go over 82... 82 likes, guys! Only 82 <laughs> likes, man. I, I feel bad, man, because right now, YouTubers are making more money uh, dunking on this game than th this dev company, man. How sad is that, bro? Like, YouTubers are making more money, bro. Like, YouTubers are... <laughs> You guys are probably making more money, man. A lot of you watching probably making a lot more money than the company. Damn, okay? Damn, man. That is crazy, bro. That is honest to God, bro. That is sad. That's that's pathetic. That's sad. And you know what? Like, normally, I don't want to say this, but they deserve that crap. They deserve it, man. Like, I, I yeah, I, like, I don't want to see anybody's passion project die like this. I don't, yeah, man, like, I, I understand, man, we all got dreams, we all got passions, and yes, people are gonna dunk on your passions, people are gonna hate that crap, yes, some people's gonna be envious, jealous, and all that, right, and sick is gonna be, like, hating on that crap, but, like, bro, like, when you got crap like that, bro, like, I, I mean, I cannot, you know, at this point, they deserve that, man, yes, uh, the haters are real, but this time, like, you guys shot yourself you are the one, not even on your foot. You just shot yourself multiple times, man. Okay, this game was literally born of Trump derangement syndrome. Let that sink in. And look at Crazy. the effect on art when basically that is the primary motivation you're working on a game. It turns out to be a pretty bad product. Now, let's go to the 20th. This is the official release date of Dustborn. So you can see the official launch trailer was released onto YouTube with 77,000 views. That's pretty solid, but you'll notice it only has 500 likes. That is a very disproportionately low amount of likes for that many views. And it's because people are clowning on this game. These are just the first comments that show up. I'm not cherry picking. These are just the first ones. So let's read a few of them. My pronouns are bankrupt slash loss. Uh, I'm getting my wife's boyfriend bought me this game vibes. Damn. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, papi. Damn, even Suicide Squad had more players. Damn, that's wild, right? Even, even Concord has more players, though. Like, that's wild. Damn, even Suicide Squad had more players. More comments on here than players on Steam. All the swearing in the trailer, it's like a middle school kid trying to prove they're tough. And they weren't kidding with this section right here about more comments on here than players on Steam because here's the official results. brothers. Any Jamaican homie watching, I need to learn more words, okay? These are the only words I know, bro. Like, I need to learn more words, okay? So yeah, all time peak 76, right? That's 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 kind of crazy, right? So 70, 53, 64, 72, and 76, and then it hit 81. Yeah, beating records, like damn, right? Beating records. Then, oh she, oh my God, they broke like to 83, 83. Okay, so yeah, it's breaking records. It's breaking its previous best record. You know what? Um, you know, credit where it's due. It's beating. You know, it's it's beating. But to be honest though. I blame you guys. I blame all of you, okay? All of you watching this video, man. Why you guys... Come on, man. Why you guys not supporting a game, man? Like, why are you not supporting the game, man? Bunch of toxic gamers, man. Like, toxic gamer, man. You guys toxic gamers. <laughs> you guys toxic gamers, man. Like, damn, man. I'm joking, man. Uh, yeah. It peaked out at 76 players. They could barely fill a corner of a cafeteria with that peak number of players. It's absolutely insane. This was a... 
horrible flop. Total waste of time. And also, there are some uh, scenes of this game that are going viral on Twitter because how just outrageous they are. So, this is like a nine second clip. I just want you guys to watch a small yeah, sample you, of what huh? you can see in Dustborn. The fellow you're with, uh, the black kid, dresses like a writer. Does he know anything? You are racist. This is like the second or third time I've said this this week. Uh, we are living in a South Park parody. In fact, I think reality is starting to get even more ridiculous than the South Park parodies because this whole uh, triggered fun microaggression. Of course, that's a white guy. Microaggression hit him. South Park function Damn. is literally what they had in South Park: The Fractured But Whole with the microaggression function. Like it's literally a joke. Like I can't think of anything that really captures the modern Western gaming industry than this right here. Mm. This is the mm. consequences mm. of allowing studios like this to create games unquestioned for so long and the fact that games journalists and those like them have been promoting this stuff. It's an absolute yeah. joke. This took years to produce and this Crazy. is the outcome and it's really, really embarrassing and rightfully getting dunked on across social media because of how just outlandish this whole thing is. And on top of that- and, and to be fair though, I really feel like that this game is gonna provide us gems because you guys, you guys gotta understand that there are only like very few people playing this game so this people do not know what's going on right because yeah like today out of nowhere this started trending right this blew up this post almost got a million views right the one that i showed you in the beginning the one that that the homie just showed you just moments ago right i feel like that we're gonna be having a lot of these gems uh coming out right as uh, more people start to get uh, go through this game as more people play this game and suffer through <laughs> right i feel like that nowadays people are not ready to suffer and you know what I always said this back in the days because it was true, but now I feel like that people are waking up and you know what? Thank God. Thank God for this one. I feel like that a lot of gamers are waking up now because you probably heard me say this a lot, right? Like if a game, get a, get a game gets negative marketing, it's gonna sell more. Now of course, it's still true though, right? But a game gotta be good though. A game gotta be good. Because you look at Hogwarts Legacy, even though Hogwarts Legacy had like a trans person and they, they tried to have inclusivity and diversity, the game was good and ultimately the Wokies were still mad. So couple that with, uh, you know, the game was good and it's Harry Potter, of course, big title, big name. So like, duh, it was supposed to sell, okay? It was gonna sell no matter what. what. But couple that with the Wokies getting mad and them trying to cancel the game, it just added more fuel to the fire, right? It's like more kerosene to the fire, right? So it blew the hell up and people started buying, I believe 10 million, it did like very, very quick. And Black Myth Wukong, same thing, game looks good, people like it. And couple that with the Wokies trying to cancel this game, they're saying that, hey, we need they, them monkey in this one. We need more diversity, more inclusivity for the monkeys as well, but leave the monkey alone, man. Damn, man, it's a monkey game, right? It's a monkey game, right? So couple that with that, the game blew the hell up, understandably though. But see, even if a game gets, uh, because Dustborn, everybody's clowning on this game. Concord, everybody's clowning on this game. Are people buying them? Yeah, some of them are. I guess 697, more than 697. This is just a peak, right? But yeah, people are buying them. But are people buying it the way they are buying it? Absolutely not. So what this tells me is that people just had enough. People just want good games and people are waking up. I think it's both. People are getting older and people are fed up. And also people are realizing right now and they're waking up. So it doesn't really matter if a game now gets a lot of negative attention. People are not gonna buy it unless they feel like that the game is gonna be worth their money and worth their time. And you know what? I, I respect that. I feel like that a lot of people would respect that, right? Because if I see a game and I'm like, hey, it's not worth it my time, I feel like that you guys are gonna be like, holy, okay, yeah, I, I, I respect that. And likewise, likewise. So if you see a game and you're like, uh, you're like, hey, I don't like this game, and you tell me about it, I'm like, hey, damn, bro, I, I respect the fact that you respect your time and you respect your money. Because after all, bro, money does not grow on trees, right? Like, we're all working hard for that dollar dollar bill, and especially in this economy man oh man sheesh bro like so thank god these suckers are saving us money right thank god we don't have to waste our money hard-earned money on crap products like that crap games like that so i'm actually honestly really really shocked and surprised by <laughs> gamers waking up man damn man like this is what broke the camel's back 
shout out to the gamers out there, man. Shout out to the gamers for waking up, man. Some people are playing and giving reviews, and uh, hats off to Savvy here, who really went through the grinder to give a fair review of this game. She played for seven hours. She dedicated seven hours and probably years of her sanity to give a review, and she points out here, I mean, obviously she says it's garbage, it's a bad game, but she also points out that real tax real tax dollars funded this game, and I feel like that every person should be able to sue the government. Yeah, bro, I heard some of you guys actually mentioned that uh, this game was funded like $150,000. I don't know whether that's true. Tax dollars funded this game, and I feel like every person should be able to sue the government. Norwegian, Norwegian government, I believe, funded this game, right? For it, and she's not lying. Like many other DEI initiatives and woke games, this was funded by the government. They got 150,000 euros oh, shit, for this oh, game. Shit. Yeah, what? imagine that. Ima what? You kidding me right now? Start date 2019, end date. Okay, so that's for like, was this uh, how long the game was in development or was this like the the, the, the government funding? I believe this is uh, the time, the amount of time the government was funding them 150,000 euros and that's taxpayer money, bro. Imagine you paying taxes, and I and I suppose and uh, and I suppose like uh, yeah, all of Europe is pretty high in tax, just like here in Canada, right? Man, suckers are crazy, bro. Like uh, uh, almost half of your money goes to taxes, bro. It is genuinely sad and pathetic, and I believe it's almost similar for uh, for this country as well. Nor uh, Norway, Norway, right? Norway, Norway, Norway. Yeah, right. One hundred and fifty thousand. Holy crap! That's like so much of the taxpayer money wasted on crap like that, bro. Imagine your tax Damn. dollars going to this Damn. nonsense. I would be livid if I found yeah. out that that's. No, I, 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 I'm mad about that too. I, no, I'm genuinely mad. There, there aren't many things that make me mad. I'm a pretty like easygoing guy. I don't get mad, but of course, like I, I'm mad with that crap, right? Because yeah, I can relate. I, I I'm, I can put, I, I can feel, right? Like in Canada, like taxes are like crazy. So if Canada was doing that crap, right? Like using my taxpayer dollar and funding a project that crap. I, I would be livid too. I would be mad too. Absolutely, man. Like they're taxing us like crazy, bro. We're we're slaves. We're all slaves. Like think about it, man. Like as soon as you're born, man. <laughs> these seconds are like, oh man, this kid is gonna grow up to be a taxpayer. You feel what I'm saying? That's their thinking, bro. That is crazy. When you realize that, man, you're just a taxpayer, man. Damn, man. Damn, homie. It, it's sad, bro. It's truly sad and pathetic, man. Crazy, but guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened, okay? We had good news, okay? We got more gameplay leaks for GTA 6, some heist leaks as well. Check out this video on the screen. I uploaded that earlier today. Not sure if you guys have actually catched it up or not. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, man. A ton of drama, man, and, and, a, it, and it's a stinky one, to say the least, okay? Check it out, I'll see you right